Hello and welcome. Today's episode is all about weight. So I purchased a 2019 Lance 2185 a couple of months ago and we are about to start making some modifications to it. But I wanted to check first to see what its weights are before I modify it so we kind of know what the difference is of all the different changes we've made. The first step of that is actually the trailer hitch. If you look here, I have a hitch called a way safe. And this is really cool. You'll see that it has a scale built into the hitch itself. Now this hitch was actually provided to me by Waysafe, which is a company that is manufacturing these hitches here locally near where I live. So that's kind of cool. So it has here some important inf safety information about towing and the weight of your rig. And then here is the hitch itself. So this right here is the main part of the hitch, which is the ball. And this currently has the two and five sixteenths inch ball. Now this is a stainless steel ball. And then this is an aluminum uh, hitch. <laughs> hey Lydia. Now this ball can be swapped out. You see here it has the hole right there and I can put that in. And then here is a pin in the back that slides in. And I'll, I'll show you all that in just a second. That is over there. And then down here we have the, I don't know what this is called, the riser or the drop. So this is a six inch drop version. And so you can see this is the two inch receiver size and that just slides in like that and then down here in the packaging is the two inch ball which we are not going to be using today because my Lance trailer uses a two and five sixteenths inch ball and then down here is the pin so this is the pin that slides in there so let me uh, put this together and you'll see how it works so here I have put the pin this is a locking pin in so that this is in the receiver firmly and then down here is that ball that I showed you a second ago this is the two and five sixteenths inch version and then this is the locking pin and that just slides in the hole there just like that and you can see that there's a round little spot there for that ring to sit and once you've done that then you can lift this whole thing up and it just goes in like that and then we have to decide on what height we'll need to be and I don't really know yet so I'll just start about right here and then over here on this side it came with this locking device that you just put in these two holes there slide it in there and then it locks in place now we're good to go and then it actually also comes with a dust cap here to keep that lock hole nice and clean and then that's the scale on the side so let's drop the trailer on this and see what it looks like. All right, I'm almost ready. We're gonna lower the ball here in a second. So all we have to do is push this button three times, hold it down on the third, wait till it starts going. And now it will completely retract everything. So here it has fallen down on the ball and let's see what the weight looks like. And there we have it. The, the foot of the jack is coming up off the ground now. So we have the full weight of the trailer. Let's look at the weight. And as you can see there, just a, a little bit over 800 pounds. I have found it's interesting, it is slowly rising. It's been on here for a couple of minutes and I've been watching it and it's slowly getting higher. What do you think, Lucy? Good. <laughs> Now in my case, I'm gonna pull the trailer out in a flat area and make sure that it's it's level. Um, it might be that since this right now is in its completely neutral position, I might take this riser or drop bar and I might flip it over just for more ground clearance. My goal in doing this weighing right now is to see exactly what the weight is of the trailer in its most default state, uh, how we got it from the manufacturer. So if you look here, the uh, pass-through storage is completely empty. It does have uh, the two lead-acid batteries, so one here in this storage compartment. Uh, it does have all three propane tanks, although the front one is used. It's not completely empty though, it's probably about halfway. Uh, this is where the other battery is here. Up here inside the RV, everything is cleaned out from underneath the couch. Everything is removed from the, the cupboards there, these drawers are empty and I have emptied out everything down here that we had. The, the fridge and the freezer are completely empty. Uh, all of the cupboards and cabinets and storage areas here in the back are also empty. So with everything empty in the trailer and also all the water tanks are empty, all three of them, uh, I'm gonna go now weigh this trailer and see exactly how much it weighs. 
I looked at the level of the trailer and it was lower in the front than in the back, which is not good. So I've leveled it. It is at 900 pounds of tongue weight. So it has gone up a little bit. You'll see I um, turned the riser around so it's going up instead of down and I uh, moved it up two notches because the front of the trailer was lower than the back. So it should be level now and it has, the, the tongue weight has gone up a little bit. Uh, but I'll, I'll check it again when I get to where I'm going after I've driven a bit and see where it's at. I've uh, driven about a 25 minute drive on the freeway uh, to get to a nearby uh, cat scale where they have a truck stop here. And uh, so I'm gonna pull in and we'll weigh the truck and, and uh, trailer together and then I'll separate the trailer and, and just weigh the truck alone. So we'll be able to get specific stats on exactly what the trailer weighs. All right, there is the cat certified scales. I've never done this before, never weighed anything on this kind of scale, so we'll see how it goes. So the first wheel there, here's the second platform right there. And so then the rear axle's on that platform, and then there is another yellow line right there, and then the trailer is on a separate platform back there. They finished the weigh, and I'm going to go in and get the slip, and then I'll do a reweigh to get just the truck. I've been able to pick up my results Right here is my truck, and I'm going to just leave the trailer here, and I'm going to go back and reweigh the truck. Here are the uh, preliminary results. The uh, front axle of the truck is 3,140 pounds. The uh, rear axle of the truck is 3,860 pounds. The trailer axle is 4,420 pounds, and so the gross weight of both combined is 11,420 pounds. So now let's go find out with what just the truck weighs. Also, here at the uh, truck stop, it looks like the weight on the hitch is exactly 900 pounds. I have uh, picked up the reway, and this is the results. The front axle on the truck is 3,520 pounds, and the drive axle is 2,560 pounds, with a total gross weight of 6,080 pounds. So I'm going to drive home now and then I'll, I'll calculate and uh, show the results of the data at home. Welcome to my office. I have now transferred the information from these uh, waist slips uh, from the scale. And let's go into my spreadsheet and I'll show you what my findings were. Now keep in mind, I've never done this before, so I'm not an expert in this. And so if I get something wrong, let me know in the comments down below. But let's go over the spreadsheet now. Let's first off mention here the tow vehicle. So this is a 2015 Dodge. Ram 1500. Uh, this is not the vehicle I'm going to be using to tow my trailer with long term. Uh, once Tesla will sell me their Cybertruck, the tri-motor version, I will be getting that and that's what I'm going to be towing with going forward. And its towing capacities and its weights and specs uh, aren't all known yet. Um, and so right now I'm, I'm weighing the trailer with this particular truck and so that's why it's relevant. Uh, the trailer I have is a 2019 Lance Model 2185. And I will include here on the screen all of the uh, specs, the actual build sheet of this trailer to give you an idea of how ours is outfitted because depending on the options that were installed on the trailer from the manufacturer, that will affect its overall weight and the weight distribution. Okay, so let's get into the weighing here. Uh, so this is the first weigh-in where we had the truck and the trailer combined. And so we have the weight location. Now remember the cat scale that I weighed on has the three platforms. And so that is these three uh, weights right here. So the first platform had the steering axle or the front axle of the truck on it. So that's 3,100 pounds. Then we had the drive axle of the truck. So that's the rear axle of the truck and that's 3,800 pounds. And then we have the trailer axle weight. Now there's actually dualies, uh, there's two axles on the trailer and they're both on the same platform. So that's those two axles combined here. And then we have the gross weight of the entire rig, all three platforms at 11,000 pounds. And I'm include the kilograms over here for those of you who appreciate that. Okay, so then I went and dropped off the trailer and weighed just the truck alone, and both axles were on separate platforms. So that's the second, second way in here, and the steering axle was 3,500 pounds, and the drive axle was 2,500 pounds. So then the gross weight of just the truck alone was just over 6,000 pounds. Okay, so that's all uh, kind of just abstract, what do you do with those numbers? So what I did is down here on the difference, I uh, did the difference between the steering axle from when it was by itself versus when the trailer was on it. And so it's a difference of 380 pounds, meaning that when I detached the trailer, the front axle gained 380 pounds. You might wonder uh, why that is, and we'll get to that when I finish going through these weights. So then the drive axle of the truck lost 1,300 pounds. That makes intuitive sense. You might think, oh yeah, the trailer is lifting up off and has gone off the truck, so it's now 1,300 pounds lighter. 
but you don't immediately assume that that's tongue weight because it's not all tongue weight. Um, and then the total difference of the, um, the, the, axle, the, the gross weight rating the difference is 5,340 pounds. So that's the actual weight of my trailer. The trailer had nothing in it. I had emptied out all of our things, had no water, no nothing, had the batteries, had the propane tanks. Propane tanks were all almost totally full. Uh, so just give you an idea of where that is. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this weight distribution between the front and rear axle. So the tongue weight is the actual weight that's being put on the ball of the trailer, or sorry, ball of the truck from the trailer. And that tongue weight uh, is about three feet, or it depends on the truck, right? Uh, but it's a couple of feet back from the actual rear axle. Think of the rear axle as being a teeter-totter. So if you think of children in a playground, you have the fulcrum in the middle, and you have children on either side, and they're teeter-tottering back and forth, right? Uh, well, in a truck, you've got a teeter-totter that's off balance, right? You've only got three or four feet in the back behind the rear axle where the tongue weight is coming from the trailer. And then you have a whole length of the whole front of the truck going forward of that. So it's not um, a huge amount of effect. It's not 50-50. But when you put that rear tongue weight on the ball of the truck, it's going to be transferring some of the weight from the front of that truck onto that rear axle in addition to the tongue weight. Uh, and that also raises the front of the truck up a little bit. And so that's where the 380 pounds actually was transferred to that rear axle. It's something that's important to understand that when you put that payload capacity from the, um, uh, the trailer onto the truck, it's also pulling some of the capacity from that front axle onto the rear axle. Truck manufacturers know this, so when they give you, a, you know, the, the, the rating of the tongue, the rating of the truck, it's taking into consideration this very effect. So I'm sure a bunch of you out there are screaming, hey, weight distribution hitches. Yes, weight distribution hitches completely negate this teeter-totter effect that I'm talking about, and it pushes the weight back onto the axles of the trailer and onto the front axle of the truck. And so we'll be talking about that more in the next video. With all these numbers, that just gives you an idea of what the Lance 2185 weighs, just on its own, empty. Some of you may have noticed in the build sheet that it had a certain weight of the trailer, and then here I'm showing that the weight is 5,340 pounds. That's a difference of 164 pounds. I don't know how to explain that entirely, uh, but I suspect it has something to do with probably the solar panel that was installed on the roof after the manufacturer built the trailer and some other modifications. I don't really know why, but it is off by just a little bit. I'm now going to begin modifications of this trailer and that's why I wanted to know what my base level was of the weight of it before I start to add and remove components to the trailer. I hope this has been informative for you to see exactly what my findings were in my particular uh, outfitted travel trailer. In my video next week, I'm actually going to be going into more detail about this weighing and the weigh safe hitch specifically. So stay tuned for that video. And if you're interested in seeing other videos that I've made about the trips that we've gone on in our trailer up to this point, uh, both when we went to Goblin Valley and when we went and picked up the trailer from Washington, I'll put cards here above that go to those videos. And we have some upcoming videos I'll be making about trips that we've taken our trailer on with the Waysafe Hitch as well. And with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.